raised my daughter in this apartment. My wife died in this apartment. And now they want me to leave? I'm the majestic up in here. I'm the majestic up in here. Daddy, look who's here. Hey, Henry, it's me, Eli's dad, Elliot. How you doing? Do you think I could come in? Maybe we can talk? No. People trying to kill me. This could be a trick. Well, I, I heard uh, someone was threatening you. It's just a voice. Voice? Yeah, it comes through the door and sometimes through the window near my bed. They say, get out or we're going to kill you. And now that voice is in my head and it goes round and round and round and never stops. Okay, well, you know, maybe, maybe it's time to cash in. See, that's just what Sandra says. All she cares about is the money. That's not true. Threats, bribes, it doesn't matter. I am not leaving. You all can kiss my ass! And this nurse asks if I would rate my pain on a scale from one to 10. I say an eight. She says, let me go check with the doctor. Hours go by. Now I'm in agony. And I call the nurse again, different nurse this time. The other one's off her shift. She asked the same question, says she's gonna go check with the doctor. It took them almost a whole day to bring the painkiller. And they go on and on about how addictive it can be and how they wanna give me too high a dose. A couple days later, I go into work, I tell my colleague my story. She says she was at the same hospital. With a very different story. Because they vultures out here, man. They, t they eat your soul if you let them. They tried to kill me in 73. Man, I'm just letting you know, in my city, man to man, you scream until there's nothing left. So from New York, I love you, baby. <laughs> Whoa! That was a beautiful speech. Thelma Gordon raved about it. You really outdid yourself. You had our hearts in your hand. Mark, helping people has always brought me joy. <laughs> but as we both know, joy ain't free. I like the third one. I don't want your money, Mark. I need a vote of confidence. What do you mean? Mr. Jones, please. Speak your piece. My piece. Your company, Atreus Plastics, is up for acquisition by Glenn Industries. Atreus is the biggest black-owned plastics company in the world. You think I'm going to sell my company at pennies on the dollar to some goddamn crackers? One, do not tell me where you are. Two, you need to turn yourself in. If you keep running, this only gets worse. Now, I'm going to negotiate your surrender, and I will contact local counsel in New York who are experts at justification and self-defense. We're going to fight this tooth and nail. Sound like a plan? Mr. Johnson. I just need to do something first. Today's a good day. I can connect the dots. I'm 52. Born in the Bronx. Never married. No kids. Lots and lots of girls, though. 